What exactly have you been up to for the last seven years? Maybe you finished your grad school degree. Maybe you finally paid off a long-term investment. Or maybe, if you're a NASA scientist, you've been waiting to play with your new little old asteroid pieces. So seven years, almost four billion miles of a journey throughout the solar system to the asteroid Bennu, now back in OSIRIS-REx, the sample return capsule landed in Utah. That's the head of NASA on Wednesday revealing exactly what's inside these samples taken from an asteroid named Bennu. Why is it called Bennu? Well, back in 2013, some nine-year-old won the Planetary Society's Name That Asteroid contest. And the kid named it after a bird associated with the Egyptian god Osiris, stating, Bennu was a large heron and the living symbol of Osiris. The winged Osiris Rex and its heron-like tag sim, touch and go sample acquisition mechanism, also evoke attributes of Bennu, as does the egg shape of the asteroid itself. Bennu means the ascending one, to shine, and suits the NEO, near-Earth object, which will shine in our skies in 2023 at the return of Osiris-Rex. When I was nine, I mostly played Game Boy. Anyway, that kid was right about Osiris-Rex returning to our skies this year. Osiris-Rex, by the way, is the catchy acronym for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security, Regolith Explorer. I've upgraded to this thing now, where you turn a crank to have a dog hire someone for a job. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is heading to asteroid Bennu and back. Yeah, so like that promo video says, back in 2016, OSIRIS-REx was shot towards Bennu, and two years later, it hung around the thing nearby making discreet observations, like an interstellar peeping Tom. Then in 2020, our spacecraft here used a long stick vacuum to dyson up some rubble from the 1,600-foot-wide asteroid. In 2021, the spacecraft began to return towards Earth. And back in September, it dropped off a capsule of samples to the Utah desert to conclude its four billion mile journey. The culmination of years of hard work and dedication from our nation's finest scientists and engineers. Hey, the dog just hired a race car driver. It was an incredibly surreal moment when they opened the sample canister. I was sitting in a room in Houston at NASA Johnson Space Center with a couple of members from the team and we immediately saw that there was fine-grained dust, that there was dark rock fragments that was in the sample return canister, and so we knew that we had successfully returned material from asteroid Bennu. That's an associate planetary science professor at Purdue University and team member with this OSIRIS-REx project, who's among those relieved that the capsule was returned safely and that the 4.5 billion year old samples contained within weren't contaminated. Okay, okay, so what do they find? Here's the lead investigator. The first panel there in the upper left, those are the water-bearing clay minerals, and they have this fibrous kind of structure. We call this serpentine, because they look like serpents or snakes inside the sample. And they have water locked inside their crystal structure. We know that there are hydrated minerals, meaning that minerals incorporate water into their microstructures. Now this water is representative of what would have been around in the early solar system and could have delivered water to Earth and contributed to our own oceans. We also know that there are organic molecules in the sample, and these molecules could be the building blocks that were delivered to Earth and eventually evolved into life. So we're looking at really exciting results, and this is just a taste of what's to come for the analysis of Bennu samples. Delicious. Well, this is just the start of the sample analysis. Scientists are planning to analyze Bennu's materials for months and years to come. And as the head of NASA notes, This sample return is proof again, that NASA does big things, things that inspire us. By the way, Bennu is a near-Earth asteroid, and scientists give it a 1 in 1,750 chance of plowing into the Earth at some point between 2175 and 2199. I hope that deposit on your wedding venue is refundable.